men style fashion. Yeah. Um, in the last, that's my online magazine. Yeah. Men's collection this week running. Do you think um, men's fashion is just warming up? Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think it goes from strength to strength. I think that the uh, this season uh, is bigger than last season, and hopefully next season in London will be even be uh, even bigger. Okay, uh, a trend that you would predict that's going to be big for men this year. Oh, I'm, a p piece I'm, of clothing. I'm useless at uh, trend predictions. Absolutely useless. Uh, but the great thing is that there are so many people doing so many different things. Yeah. I think what you really find in London is that you get, well, what we'll be seeing later on this afternoon, fantastic Savile Row tailoring and some of the most inventive, creative design uh, in the world. It's brilliant. Okay. What's your favourite piece of clothing that you would like, that you always wear? I'm every morning I get up and I put on a blue suit and I have done forever. Any label in particular? <laughs> I'm wearing Richard James today. Uh, I love Richard James' clothes, it's fantastic. But um, uh, I love the traditional Savile Row tailoring. Okay. Is that right? I'm a writer for Men's Love. So, collecting is so far, so great. Um, how do you feel like it translates to actually the man on the street? Like that's essentially, for me, London Men's yeah. Collection should be about getting men who don't necessarily know about fashion, care about fashion, and expanding that. I think it, I do think it, it translates I, to the street. I think it all filters down. I think you can see great streetwear here, you can see great Savile Row tailoring which influences every suit that's ever been manufactured by anybody. Yeah, you've Hello. got the likes of Top Man showing, exactly. where they produce really good cheap clothes that are on sale immediately. So you've got everything. So I think it really does affect the, the man on the street. Brilliant. All right. Hey, thanks.